So, second video for the uh, for the day, which is kind of crazy. I've been getting so much stuff to talk about on the channel. I'm so happy that I can, for the past two days, get double upload days. This is great. But the second title that they've released for iOS and Android, uh, Square Enix, um, was Ever Crisis. Now, Ever Crisis is basically a remake of the remake of the original. Um, but it's... To me, I feel like it's even better. Now, of course, playing uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake on the PS4 and PS5 is going to be the best experience. Of course it is, because it's beautiful. But, Ever Crisis is a very unique game. Now, they said this is going to be like an episodic kind of game, but they're going to cover everything in the Final Fantasy VII series to date. So, not only are we... And I kind of like the art style to this. It kind of reminds me of like a really HD version of like Final Fantasy The City of uh, Opera Omnia. Um, but it's like also kind of like Final Fantasy 15 Pocket Edition, but still looks better. Like it really, like, look, look at this fighting scene. It kind of looks like Final Fantasy 7 Remake, but that is an iOS and Android game right there. I cannot wait. These are two mobile games that are coming out that I just cannot wait for. I'm so excited. And the thing with this one is that it's covering everything. So you're not only going to be covering Final Fantasy VII, but they've mentioned that you're... Yeah, see? Advent Children, Before Crisis, Crisis Core, Dirge of Cerberus. All of these titles are going to be a part of this game. And I think that that is very cool. Now, they did also say that this is going to be a single-player experience. So, this is going to be probably just an episodic thing that you probably um, will have... To, I'm, I'm thinking that this is a, a title that you're probably going to have to pay for. Kind of like how Pocket Edition was, where I think if you spent like $20, you unlocked the whole thing. Which is fine. I don't mind spending $5 on an episode. Some of you guys might be, but you guys gotta understand, like, these games do take time to make. Um, of course, it's not as much time as, say, a PlayStation 4 or 5 game, but it still takes a little bit of time to put these games together and make it. And if they do, like, $5 an episode for something like this, I don't mind it. Now, what I do think they should do for the uh, Battle Royale game that they did, or are going to do, I think that that should be a free-to-play game. Like, I don't think you should pay for that. I think that whatever they want to sell in the game is fine, but that should be a free-to-play game. With this being a single-player experience, a you know a playable game, I would love for it to be free because Ever Crisis looks amazing. Um, but I do think that they should basically, um, if they are gonna sell the episode separately or whatever, just do like a five-dollar kind of episode kind of thing. I think that that eventually will add up to something that they can you know get. A good amount out of people but if they want to like release this free and just have like cosmetics that you can buy for the game I'm cool with that too because either way like I'm probably going to spend the money in the game anyway I mean it's, let's be serious here but like the, the thing is is that if they do cosmetics where you can buy like weapons and stuff like that for characters and stuff that you play in ever crisis then that is pretty cool but um I do have a feeling that they are going to release these episodes with, like, a paid, like, kind of thing. Like, a $5 kind of payment. That's just what I'm thinking with this uh, specific title. But I'm very excited for it because not only is it a better looking... Ver this is basically, like, the mods version of, like, the Final Fantasy VII. Like, original Final Fantasy VII. Like, people have been modding the game to look really good on PC. And this is kind of that route it looks that way but uh it even looks a little bit better in my opinion so i'm kind of cool like i'm, I'm kind of happy that they're doing this because i w wanted to get final fantasy 7 like the original game on my phone but i just felt like okay i have it on playstation i have it on switch i have it everywhere so why should i pay for it on my phone if i have like the best you know playability on everything else so this is a great way to bring that title back, but also adding a bunch of other things into it. So, I'm down for it. But you guys gotta tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. If this is a paid kind of game, would you pay for this to be, you know, on your phone? Or 
would you just skip out on it because you don't want to pay for another copy of Final Fantasy 7? Because it's starting to get like Kingdom Hearts, in my opinion. But I'm still happy. I'm still going to buy it because the same thing I do with Kingdom Hearts. But yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave this video a huge like, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, let your hearts be your guiding keys. Bye.